The first episode of the Netflix horror anthology series Guillermo del Toro's Cabinet of Curiosities is a cautionary tale, but viewers may not understand the ending of Lot 36 ending upon first viewing, and why Lot 36 Demon doesn't attack Amelia. Cabinet of Curiosities Episode 1, Lot 36, stars Tim Blake Nelson as Nick, a bigoted war veteran desperate to make money. Striving to repay a debt that he owes to mobsters, he makes a living via the ethically questionable method of buying repossessed storage units and reselling their contents. Nick buys the titular Lot 36 at a storage auction and, shortly after, is met by Amelia, who informs him that her unit was mistakenly sold to him. The uncaring, racist Nick dismisses her. When Nick opens the titular storage unit of Cabinet of Curiosities Lot 36 episode, he discovers an antique candelabra, prompting the warehouse's owner to refer him to Agatha, an antique dealer. Nick brings Agatha the notable contents of Lot 36, including a seance table whose hidden compartment contains several books. Agatha calls Roland, an excited collector of occult paraphernalia. The episode then gives Nick a choice as Roland tells him he will pay $10,000 for the three books that Nick has, or $300,000 provided Nick returns to Lot 36 and finds the fourth and final volume. Roland is the reason that Nick returns to Lot 36, and he is also the character who helps him unearth the unit's terrible secret. The unit's original owner, a monstrous Nazi war criminal who fled Germany, offered his sister as a sacrifice to the Eldridge tomes that the duo has uncovered. This detail sets up the ending's big twist as it sees Roland state that the demon can sense someone's inherent evil, which proves important for Nick's character journey. The demon scene at the end of Cabinet of Curiosities Lot 36 episode is a terrifying amalgamation of a human body, the desiccated corpse of the Nazi's sister, and a writhing mass of tentacles. The Lovecraftian monster of the show does not seem like an entity that would be stopped by something as flimsy as a warehouse door, yet the demon doesn't break out of the warehouse. Instead, the thing devours Roland and then Nick, but leaves Amelia alone. The reason for this is that Amelia isn't tainted by the same evil as the two men, as such, Amelia offers nothing for the demon to feed on. From the moment that the elderly Nazi is introduced butchering rodents to feed the demon, to the scene where Nick nods in agreement with a racist radio host's right-wing rhetoric. It is clear that the characters of Lot 36 are largely awful people. However, even though she refuses Nick the same decency that he refused her, Emilia is the sole survivor of the Lot 36 episode of Guillermo del Toro's Cabinet of Curiosities because she doesn't stoop to their depths.